Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Turkman from Afghanistan. In today's video, I am going to show you three ways to unlock an iPhone without passcode. With these three methods, you can remove any kind of lock screen from an iPhone or iPad. So make sure you watch this video till the very end because at the end of this video, I'm going to give you some important tips about this topic. And if you find this video helpful by any means, then please share it with your friends. Sharing is always free guys, it doesn't cost you anything. So with that being said, let's get started. Before starting this video, let me clear out one thing. With all the methods shown in the video, your iPhone data will be erased. As far as I know, at the moment, there is no way to unlock an iPhone without erasing the data. Maybe in the future, people will find a way to do it, but now it's not possible. And if you know any trick to unlock an iPhone without erasing the data, then please share it with us. We will be very grateful for that. As you can see, here I have an iPhone 7 which is disabled due to too many wrong password input. Our first method is using iCloud to remove lock screen from your iPhone or iPad. There are two requirements in order to unlock an iPhone or iPad using iCloud. First requirement is find my iPhone must be enabled on your iOS device. Second, your iOS device must be connected to the internet connection through Wi-Fi or a cellular network. If you meet those two requirements, now open up iCloud on your PC or Mac. Just go to iCloud.com Next, sign in with your Apple ID that you are using on your iOS device. Once you are signed into your iCloud account, now click on Find My iPhone. Find My iPhone is usually used to locate your lost or stolen phone, but you can also use this trick to unlock your iOS device. Okay, from this list, select your iOS device that you want to unlock. So in my case, here is mine, which is currently online, as you can see here. Now you can see here you have an option to erase your iPhone. Once again, your iPhone must have an internet access to communicate with Apple server. So if your iPhone has internet connection like mine, just click on erase iPhone. After that, click on erase. After doing this, it will erase everything from your iPhone, including the lock screen. As you can see now, my iPhone is erased, now it's starting. Once it's started, you need to set up your iPhone as if it is brand new. When you get to this screen, you can either set up your phone as a new iPhone or you can restore from your iTunes backup or iCloud backup. So in my case, I'm gonna set up this phone as new. After the initial setup, your iPhone will be unlocked just like this. Our second method is using iTunes to remove lock screen from your iPhone or iPad. First of all, install latest version of iTunes on your Mac or Windows computer. So just go to Google and search for iTunes download and download a fresh copy of iTunes from wherever you want. Okay, now connect your iPhone to computer using your USB cable. After that, turn your phone off. Once it's completely turned off, press power button, volume down button together for a few seconds. What I'm doing is, I'm getting my phone into DFU mode. The key combination might be different in your case. Okay, when you see the screen, just let go of two buttons. When your phone is connected to computer, as you can see here it says, there's a problem with your iPhone that requires to be updated or restored. From here, click on restore in order to remove lock screen. Next, click on restore and update. Now iTunes will start downloading latest firmware version for your device. So you need to wait for it. After downloading the software, it will start extracting it and hopefully it doesn't give any error. The downside of iTunes is sometimes it gives error while restoring or extracting the software. So fingers crossed. Okay, I got the error as expected. As you can see, I got this error I don't know why even though my iPhone is connected to my computer so in your case the situation might be different 
as you can see i'm getting error while restoring my iphone in your case it might work if it didn't work then you don't have to worry just skip to next one our last method is using a third party software to remove lock screen from your iphone if the first two methods didn't work for you then i'm 100 percent sure with the help of the software you will be able to remove lock screen from your iphone the software i'm gonna use is called i my phone lock wiper you can get the software from the link given in the description below the software is available for windows as well as mac users with the software you can also remove apple id without password if you have forgotten password of your apple id then with the help of the software you will be able to remove it from your ios device so go ahead download and install the software on your computer link will be right in the description below after that open it up now select unlock screen passcode from here next click on start after that click on next now you need to get your phone into dfu mode the software gives you instructions for all the iphones if your iphone is iphone 6 or lower just follow the steps if your iphone is 7 or 7 plus follow this step and if your iphone is 8 or later you need to follow this step so in my case i'm gonna go with the middle one in order to get your phone into dfu mode first of all turn it off make sure your phone is completely turned off if your iphone is iphone 7 or iphone 7 plus just follow my steps once the phone is completely turned off press and hold power button and volume down button press and hold these two buttons together for 10 seconds after that the software will automatically detect your iphone which is in dfu mode now you need to download the latest firmware version for your ios device so as you can see this software is suggesting me to download these two ios versions for my iphone you can choose whichever ios version you want from here so in my case i'm gonna go with ios 12.3 this software gives you two options to download the firmware first option is downloading the firmware through the software when you click on download it's gonna start downloading the firmware for your ios device now this is gonna take time depending on speed of your internet connection as you can see size of the firmware is 3 gigabytes and the second option is downloading the firmware through browser in order to do that just click on this copy button and it will open the browser and as you can see now the firmware is started downloading so i'm just going to cancel it because i've already downloaded the firmware so in case you have downloaded the firmware through browser just click on the select button and find the firmware that you downloaded in my case here is the firmware okay once the extraction is completed click on start unlock now type 60 from here one two three four five six after that click on unlock after that it's gonna start unlocking your ios device during this process do not use your phone just leave your phone as it is once the unlocking process is completed now you need to set up your phone as if it is brand new so let me quickly show you that okay when you get into the screen you can either use your apple id or you can skip this step and now here you have your unlocked phone Okay, those were my 3 methods to remove lock screen from an iPhone or iPad. Now let me give you a bonus tip. My bonus tip for you is to make up your iPhone regularly. It is always a good idea to make up your iPhone on a regular basis. Go out for a bit if something happens to your phone, your data will be in safe hands. And I've already made a separate video about breaking up your iPhone. You can watch that video by clicking on i button at the top right corner. In that video I am showing 3 different ways to back up and restore your iPhone or iPad. So there you have it guys, that was my 3 methods to unlock an iPhone without passcode. Please let me know which one of these methods you are going to try. And I hope you guys learned something new from this video. If you did then please give it a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends. And if you want more videos like this then please subscribe to my channel with notification on. 
and I'll catch you on the next one. Stay blessed.